Working on the old Mustang today. I changed the throttle position sensor a while back and it felt like the car lost probably around 25 horsepower and got real sluggish uh, out of the hole. What this is is a low voltage potentiometer and it tells the computer what position the butterfly in the throttle body is in. It also helps determine what the fuel mixture is at low speeds. The original ones are supposed to be non-adjustable, but if you take a file or a Dremel tool or something and you oblong the bolt holes and follow the arc that you would need to turn the device on the throttle body, you can make it adjustable. Or you could buy an adjustable one. I'm going to throw a voltmeter in mine and uh, see where it's set at and see if I can tweak it at all to get a little bit better performance. You're going to need a voltmeter with a very low setting. I'm going to use the 2 volt setting on this voltmeter. I'll be sticking a safety pin in the green wire and uh, hooking the positive of the voltmeter up to the safety pin and then the negative up to ground. And then when I turn the key forward, I will see where it's set at. So here's my setup. I've pierced the green wire with the safety pin. I have my voltmeter grounded. Now I'm going to turn the key forward and see where this is set at. Looks like it's leveling off around 0 0.990. So I know that uh, this really isn't the ideal setting for this car. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it up a little and see what happens. It stabilized to 0.988. So now I'm going to uh, loosen up these two screws. And you can see the reading change as I tweak it. Looks like I don't have a whole lot of adjustment into this, so I'm going to have to uh, maybe file the piece a little bit more. So here it is removed. Here's the underside. You can see it's actually spring-loaded. So I'll go ahead and uh, overload those holes some. If I just follow my curvature here, I'll be able to pivot it. I'm going to try to elongate this about 3 16ths of an inch and uh, see how much adjustment I get out of it. Here's the modification I made to the stock uh, throttle position sensor. It's almost like this piece was, uh, was made for this. We'll see what kind of voltage we can get out of it now. Here it is installed. You can see I get about 1.45 volts on the top end. And then on the other direction, I got about uh, 0.85. So I'm probably going to put this at about 1.1 volts, try it, and then uh, continue tweaking from there until I get the uh, best results. Well, I got it up to operating temperature, and uh, I got to say, I put a tenth of a volt more on it, and the difference is incredible. If I uh, step on it in first gear at 20, it's leaning rubber right up to the shoe. Another tenth on it here and uh, see if there's any more noticeable difference. One thing to note is when you tighten these screws down, it uh, sometimes changes your reading a little bit, but uh, that's pretty close. Let's give it a shot. Seems like even picked up some more there. It uh, actually got sideways that time when I stepped on it in first at 20, and uh, all the hesitation is gone. I just pin it in neutral. So I might try another tenth and uh, we'll see what happens. So here's about another tenth. Uh, we'll give it a shot. This might be kind of tough to film, but here I'm going about 20. Got some wheel spin. About the same as before, maybe a little bit worse. I'll try to back it off a little now and uh, give it one more shot. Adjust it up again. Here I'm going to try 1.2. Alright, I got her back at 1.18 and uh, seems to like it there. I'm going to take it on the flyaway, see how it goes, and uh, if it feels good, I'm going to leave it there. Really, without a wheel dyno, doing something like this is kind of like spitting in the wind, but uh, it's definitely much better than it was. Back at the shop, pretty happy with the setting I got. And I've heard it suggested that uh, this setting gets affected anytime you change anything on the engine, like fuel pressure or injector size or cam. 
So you're supposed to revisit this setting. Now that I got my Mustang running the way uh, I wanted to, I should probably take some time and clean up this engine bay a little bit. There's a little bit of dirt and stuff in there. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.